I decided to have it be that Austin and uh, Nigel Powers have their own language, which is mostly accurate. Listen, Dad, if you are going to talk about naughty things in front of these American girls, then at least speak English English. All oh, right, my son. English English is Cockney rhyming slang. I could have had it away, but it's cracking Judy, my old China. Are you telling pork pies in a bag of trout? Because if you are feeling quickly, why not just have a J. Arthur? What, Billy? No, mate. Who right you? When we did the scene, Americans thought we were just talking a load of rubbish, but it, it, was, it all translates. It's like a foreign language. Yes, yes, she was a traveling strife, but the Morris dancer lived up the apples and pears. Yes, yeah. yes, she was the barrister that became a yeah. bobby and a lorry. And they gave her the... It was originally invented by convicts, convicts in order to talk in front of the guards without them knowing. It started in London, spread all the way through England, probably through the British Army. Oh, God, we had oh. some good times, eh? We had some good times, eh? Wonderful times. Good times. There's a lot of my father's energy in this movie. Um, mostly through Michael Caine. Austin's father, of course, being uh, incarnated by Michael Caine gives, <laughs> gives us a whole new dimension. My dad, who was in the British Army, used to talk like this as well. Hey, re remember, remember, remember when we had a slash in a bottle of rye beans? It's all about rhyme, so it's things like apples and pears is stairs, frog and toad is road, jockey's whips are chips or french fries, uh, trouble and strife is wife, and then you do derivations on that. So, uh, you know, my dad would often say, would you like a couple of jockeys for jockey's whips? Now, if you have Canadian friends coming over and you're at that delicate age of 12, and, you know, your Canadian buddy's going, your dad's a freak, I just want you to know, why does he keep offering you jockeys? That is effed up. And then things like, you know, can you nip smartly and get your, uh, get your mum some fags, if you don't mind? Uh, yeah, just go across the uh, frog and toad. And it's like, your dad just said the F word, and he just said you have to go over a frog and a toad. Your dad's a freak. That uh, sort of cockney element, um, uh, which is fantastic. It's a whole uh, you know, um, other world, other language.